Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. All right, we're here in Bulldogs Gym Blackpool. I'm gonna train some chest and shoulders today. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I do on a typical chest day. I know I still get asked quite a lot um, about chest routines and stuff. Uh, this is just one of my workouts, and uh, I'm gonna show you what I do with it. Uh, recently, I've been training my uh, affected side less and my good side more in terms of like, uh, decline stuff and cables and stuff. I like to pre-exhaust my good side first and then go on to uh, incline movements and you know the variations and stuff. Right. Alright, so my first exercise after warming up and everything is um, I usually do a pec deck on my good side. They don't have the pec deck in this gym. Well, they do, but it's, it's not a great one. So I'm going to do the, uh, the cables for my good side only. I'm going to do five to six sets, uh, 15, 12, 10 sort of range. And then I'll move over to some presses, alright? Don't be afraid to push your good side. You know, don't worry about it getting too big. Chances are, if you diet down and the fat comes off, your pec isn't gonna be that big, really. You know, most of the time, it's just fat covering the pec, so it looks big, but it's not. First exercise is incline bench press. So I've pre-exhausted my good side. Now move over to the incline bench press, a compound movement. Right? I still have part of my upper chest, so it makes sense to do the incline movements more than the flat and the decline. Now this is the main movement for chest today. So I'm gonna take my time, do a few warm-up sets, and then really go as heavy as I can, pyramid my way up and go as heavy as I can for the like 6 to 8 reps. I probably won't be recording the heavier sets because I need my cameraman to support me. All Next right. exercise again is the incline machine press. Uh, 4 or 5 sets, all out, 8 to 10 reps. No fucking around! Every gym I go, the weights are always different. The dumbbells are always different, you know, and so are the barbells. Oftentimes, the grip is really thick, and I struggle to hold it with my left hand. But that's not a problem. You don't always have to go super heavy. Just work with what you have. Aye. You can still get a great pump with light weight as well. Just focus up, squeeze in, and all that other fancy bullshit and the gains will come. All right. All right, so third exercise is going to be high incline dumbbell press. High incline to target the upper chest more and if you adjust your form a little bit, it will take your shoulders completely out of it and focus on just the upper chest. Um, probably do one more movement after this and then go on to shoulders. So watch my form.
Upper chest. Upper chest. Upper chest. Gym. It's quite loud in the gym, but this is the last uh, exercise for chest. A machine press. Uh, it's to uh, emulate the flat bench press, I guess. Uh, it's safer than the bench press, and it's a good uh, exercise to finish off on, I think. It is what it is, man. All right, so we just trained chest, and I'm gonna move on to shoulders, and uh, just have a shoulder pump. I don't go too hard on shoulders, especially if I'm doing them after chest, but uh, just a light shoulder pump. Uh, shoulders have been my weakness from day one, so I always try to hit them after chest. Just a light shoulder pump. With side lap throws. So, finishing up shoulders, I'm going to do some upright rows, supersetted with rear delts. I've already done like 16 sets on chest, so I don't need to kill myself on shoulders. Shoulder pump, okay? Look at the foot down there. You see how big that is? This side. 